No, he's not the biggest reason for their success. He is part of their success. Mm -hmm. The schedule is the biggest reason for their success, it, it, for their record, three and one. But, but again, I tip my hat to Dak Prescott. I think the Cowboys are going to be four and four at the halfway point of the season when Tony Romo comes back. And people hear that as a negative statement. I hear it as Dak Prescott did his job. That's right. Tremendously. Yeah. The schedule's about to toughen up. I think they may lose three straight. The Browns will be their fourth victory. Romo comes back after that. Dak Prescott has done exactly what he's supposed to do as a rookie quarterback. No turnovers. Yeah. Delivers the football on time. Lets the other guys make plays for him. But it's really interesting. Hey, everybody, he's got no interceptions. All right. Hear me out on this. Outside of, like, Brady, Aikman threw him, Montana threw him, Bradshaw threw him, Elway threw him. I want interceptions. Interceptions mean you're throwing the ball down the field. Eli's got two rings, lots of interceptions. Big Ben's got two rings, lots of interceptions. Everybody's bragging about Dak. He makes no mistakes. I know. The great ones do. He's playing a very conservative game, underneath throws, turning and handing to an emerging star behind a great offensive unit. He is doing what the backup should. All I'm saying is, let me puncture the hype balloon. There are certain things you can brag about in life. As a quarterback, I've got no interceptions. You know what Bill Parcells and Jimmy Johnson would say? Throw the ball down the field. Some of this love affair is because Kirk Cousins last year, 70% completion. Then he faced a real quarterback in the playoffs, Aaron Rodgers. Couldn't move the ball. Throw the ball down the field. I, I think you make an excellent point, but I don't think the Cowboys are asking him to throw the ball down no, the field. Not. I think they looked at the schedule and said, with our offensive line, our running game, the playmaker, if Des Bryant's healthy, the playmakers we have at receiving, Jason Witten, he doesn't need to throw the ball downfield. We need to win the turnover battle, run the football, Dak, take what's given to us. Jason Garrett. And the Cowboys organization, Jerry Jones, deserve great credit for the way they're handling the absence yeah. of Tony Romo. They've put together a game plan that works and is effective. Can we also say the offensive line is making Ezekiel Elliott and Dak? At this point, it's making them. Now, hear me out on this. So we know that Cam's 1-3 and three, and Carson's 1-3 and three, and Phillip Rivers 1-3 and three, and Breeze 1-3 and, and Luck 1-3 and, and Wentz is undefeated and Simeon's undefeated and Dak. Why? What are you working with? Ezekiel Elliott and Dak have the advantage of an NFL quarterback head coach, the best line. Only the Raiders offensive line, it, to me, is even close to Dallas. So I, I, I'm not trying to be anti-Dallas. I'm trying to be pro-common sense. That old line is enabling, just like the Denver defense, is enabling Trevor Simeon to look better than he really I, I, is. I think there's truth in what you're saying, but they played their sixth and seventh offensive linemen this weekend. Two of their starters were down. I think, uh, and so I think there's truth in it, but to me, more than anything, they have taken advantage of the schedule put in front of them, well, I think what put you together said, a tremendous game plan for that, and it's working. I think what you said at the very start, if he goes four and four, you would have taken that a no, month No, I will ago. take it. I will take it. That, that's an awesome start for a rookie quarterback, fourth round pick.